Hi folks, well, long time no see. <laughs> I've, I've been doing a bit of stuff, I'm well behind on my planting, I ain't got much going on, but I've just been making a spoon mule. Um, I've just chucked it together and I'm, I'm going to do improvements on it. But I'll show you what it is and how it works if you don't know what one is. So, this is the beast in question. Um, like I said, I just threw it together. I just <coughs> had a couple of boards, well, a board, which I've cut down the middle and glued it together into one piece, just for thickness. And these are some sticks that were going to be used, well, they were offcuts from the perches in Chicken House. Uh, I didn't cut them very straight. And basically how this works is, let me just put you down. Basically how this works is you get your piece, your blank, your piece of wood, if I can find one. I've just tidied up a bit, <laughs> honest. But you get your piece of wood, I don't know whether that one will go in. And your knife. piece of wood between there and you push that out with your feet because you've got a massive amount of force here just by pushing with, with my toes basically this is a little bit this a little bit high for this because this I've designed well this is to fit downstairs in man cave on a different table but, and if it slips put a bit more pressure on it well, like I say, I've got a few alterations to do on this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of... Not that I make spoons, but I might do. But this is just useful for other carving tasks for me. I can gri grip a piece of wood and if I need to get into two hands, I can get two hands into it. This wire just goes through the middle. These are just suspended. And it puts pressure underneath as you push it together. And holds the piece what you're working on. Now, um, I've also got to make some little spaces because if you're working on something smaller, then it, it's it, it's a bit well, it's not limited. It's got more space. But what I've got to do is make some little spaces, which are, would be just where the gap in them for the to sit on the wire, and then that'll push that them pieces in and it gives me a smaller grip if you know what I mean and all I'm going to do is put a couple of dips out of that a dip out of that so if I do a spoon the spoon bowl will fit in there and not put pressure on and break the, the handle but it's for other carving tasks and I'm just going to round that out and round that out just knock corners off it basically and tidy it up So that's that, that's how that turned out. It's rough, but what's it man? It's tidier than it was. I've rounded the edges off, put a bit of curve on here. I'll get a quick demo and I'll show you some of the bits and pieces. But you can obviously see how it works. I'll just go through it actually. That's about 40 millimeter thick because you need something to get the pressure. If you're using boards, run your grain that way and not that way. Because if I'm doing it that way, then when I put the pressure on here, it'd split, yeah? Um, just a few, just some little bulls I've just knocked out with a chisel. And they're the spacers. While I was out in the garden, I cut me a hazel tree. So I've got a load of hazel bits that'll make sticks and thumbsticks and stuff. That's not ideal for that, but it will work. And this one, Cut the bottom off it and that bit will be the handle it'll be that way orientated i'll cut that off and round it up and that'll be handle it'll be like a shillelagh obviously not that high it'll be well comfort height for me might even get some little spoons or a spatula out of that see all that garden i'll just get a quick look on this Use that end bit because that end bit will be cut off. I'll show you another stick I've been playing about with as well. This is not a shave mule, it's a spoon mule, but it will allow you to do some of that sort of work. And that's why you need your spacers for thin stuff. Get my 
myself in yet. You get a good grip on it and then my feet aren't properly under here because it's not made for this table. But it's definitely a good enough grip to sort of do this. And a lot of you It's a long bit, <laughs> nearly knocked camera off. But the idea of it as well is it's quick, you see. The ankles in, my cankles. And you can release it and spin it and sort of get going on what you're doing. So yeah, quite pleased with that. But my main thing is, I want it for carving. The smaller carving stuff, I'm, I do. I work on some stuff that them little men and stuff, just to get started in. It's, it's good, and it'll fit on a kitchen table or a kitchen side or a dining table, providing you put mats under it. And you know, if you were to clamp it on, you'd put something underneath this, and obviously underneath your table to protect it. And again, I've changed this wire because it was a bucket handle. This is just fence wire, but a coat hanger would do that. Put a 5mm hole through the middle, about 20mm on this, just if anybody wants to make one of these. And, and then that comes out, and I can put it away, you know, even in cellar. I know I've got a workshop here, but I like to work in, I like to do carving in cellar. I can put a video on and put a film on, whatever, and uh, do it there. Bit of uh, a dust cloth on floor and you're laughing, aren't you? And that's how that works. I might put a smile on it. I might actually improve them a little bit before I do put any oil on it, but that portable's that, you know? You don't need the entire um, mule to sit on. And that's how that works for me. If you look at it, just you can't see what you've got this shed a bit. They're just hanging just above the floor, yeah. So that when I just spread my feet apart, I get a grip on there. Uh, here are some seeds I've been planting. Thanks, Willie, for the seeds, mate. I'm looking forward to trying them. Uh, I haven't got any tomatoes planted yet. I've only just got brassicas, but I'll go into that on another video. <laughs> And so guys, that's about it. There's not a great deal happening here. I've done, like I say, a couple of sticks and stuff. That would be ideal for somebody who's got, who lives in a flat or a house and they ain't got a space for a full bench. That is really good. So as long as you padded it, if you put it on a kitchen table and put a dust cloth down to pick up all the chippings, then you could be carving spoons or carving stuff. I've been doing a little bit. Uh, I did do a, a, a stick. This is what I, I just cut this and I'm using it to guide the chickens in when I put them down the side and I thought well I'll put a cockerel's head on that because <laughs> every flock needs a cock so they say although I haven't got one apart from that one and this one this was a V again off the hazel I've got a few V's so I made a couple of them and I was just watching a movie the other night chipping away at that it's a little totem pole I had a bit of pine which would have just been burnt so anyway i've been watching videos not loads i haven't been commenting but it's been crazy i mean mother-in-law's been in hospital and my mother had a fall uh but yeah everything's all right now <laughs> so don't forget thumbs up or a thumbs down drop a comment in and it's always nice to be nice <laughs>